Hi everybody, today we'll see how to install Ocular and uh, more importantly, how to uh, remove the blurriness issue that frequently occurs with Ocular uh, when installed on macOS systems from certain sources. Okay, so to start with, we can simply um, look up Ocular macOS download and uh, apparently one of the longer ways to install Ocular is through Mac ports. It requires uh, lots of data to be downloaded, so let's not do that. Instead, I'll go here to KDE Applications, click on this link. I'll go all the way down to um, here, Mac OS ARM. My system is a Mac OS ARM system, so I'll click on Mac OS ARM, right? Yours could be Intel, so you go, you, you go via the Intel route. Okay, great. So I do Mac OS ARM, I get a .dmg file. So once you click on this link, you will download a .dmg file, which you can um, open and you know you can install Ocular through this after clicking on this downloaded .dmg file. It's pretty standard, so I won't do it because I have already done it. I have already clicked on this, downloaded the .dmg file, and um, installed Ocular by uh, clicking on the downloaded .dmg file. So. Let's assume that you have followed along and you can do it too. Let's start Ocular and see what comes up. Okay, so this is Ocular, right? It, it looks blurry as you can see. Uh, all the text is quite blurry. And if I were to open a document, for example, I can open a certain PDF. You can see it's quite bad, right? It's, uh, it's all blurry, a big headache. <laughs> almost rendering ocular useless. Okay, so how do we fix that? All right, so let me close ocular now. The way to fix it is, um, I found the way to fix it on this Reddit post. By the way, I'll provide all the links. Um, I'll provide all the links in the video description, this or uh, be it this link. So yeah, if you read the post and the comments that follow, you'll get the idea how to fix it. But anyway, my my plan is to condense all this information into this video that you're watching right now and to give you everything in one single go. But I'm just giving you the uh, sources. All right, so how do we do that? I'll take this page away. Uh, you can read this on your own time. Okay. So the way to do it is to, to fix the blurriness issue is to open your finder window, go to applications where you can find Ocular right here. Hit show package contents, go to contents and here you have this file, uh, a .plist file. So let me open this using the standard way, the xcode.app, uh, this thing. And what you have to do is you can have to flip the last two values from no to yes. Okay, you can flip it, uh, flip it from no to yes, and save it. A different way would be to um, would be to open this in some other editor, some other IDE like Visual Studio uh, Code. But here you don't see yes and no. You rather see false and true. This is a, quite a bit of a quirk. Of this of this dot plist file so to flip here means that you have to turn this from false to true okay once you have done that I'll save the file I'll hit command s and then I can close it and then if you open the same file in um, the same old X code what you see is that the the two no's have been turned to yes um, yeses right so that's how uh, it functions it's it's just some odd quirk um, in Xcode you have yes and no and the equivalent of yes and no in Xcode in uh, Microsoft Visual Studio code becomes true and false so uh, be aware of that you can't do yes and no in Microsoft Visual Studio code you have to do true and false okay great so once we have done that we can close it and now we fire ocular backup and there is a visible change. It's all certainly very sharp and crystal clear, right? All, the, all this text. 
And even if I try to uh, open the same document, look at that, voila, it's all uh, very crispy. Okay, so it's fixed, almost. There's one last uh, step to be done. Apparently, if you restart the computer, all this progress will be lost. So we have to make one last final um, change. So let me close this. That final change is the following. Um, let me look it up on the uh, on that Reddit post. What you have to do is again. Uh, let's go back to the Finder window. Go to Applications. And okay, there is Ocular. So I'll put this on the left. I also open my terminal window. So I use iTerm terminal, um, and uh, you can use your own favorite terminal on uh, on Mac OS, the general default one. So my terminal could look a, dif a little different because I use iTerm, not a cause for concern. So my objective is in my terminal, I would want to go to this folder. How do I do that? Well, I need to know the address and the address can be had if I were to drag ocular here. It tells me the address is basically slash applications ocular. So I remove this because I just want to land into this directory. So it's simply applications and you go uh, in the beginning, you write CD change directory to applications. So now I have landed in this directory. How do I know that? Well, you can check you hit LS and it, it lists all these apps that you see um, that you see here. So you can even find this ocular dot app uh, being listed here at the end. Anyway, so now once you're there, once you have landed in this uh, uh, slash applications, all you have to do is um, run a single command. It's this, okay, code sign space dash dash remove the da uh, dash signature and blah, blah, blah. I won't do it because I have already done it. You need to run this once, you know, uh, paste it, hit enter, and then you'll be done. And even the, you know, once once you do that, even if you restart your computer, your uh, your ocular would be, it would remain um, uh, just as clear, just as sharp as you saw just now. Re uh, restarting won't um, won't reset ocular to it's same uh, to its old blurry state. So this is all you need to do. Um, all right. Uh, thanks for thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time.